Welcome! Now I'll tell you about our microbot service. We have all the standard features, including adding texts, shapes, connectors, arrow, drawings, stickers and templates, everything you need for a project. We've also added the ability to connect arrows and connectors to each other, so as not to limit yourself in creating project schemes. Generally, you can scale shapes and add text to them, just like many other services offer. Apart from that, we focus on making the service as efficient as possible using Canvas technology. Thanks to it, our users are able to select a large number of elements and move them synchronically across all tabs of a different users. For example, if Frederick moves object to delete something, this is immediately displayed in the interface for others to see, improving communication and project work. We strive to work accurately without delay and understand what others are doing while observing their actions. We pay special attention to turning project work into a structured process, offering solutions with nested bots that are very flexible and have the ability to be embedded within one another. This approach helps the project in every possible way. Let's sketch out some contact and see how it works. For example, we collect reference for our project. We add documents, and that's all. We can join them into one unit. Now we can move these bots, change its borders, and immerse ourselves into it by opening it in a full screen. We can also work with a tree-like structure, not only with a visual interface, but also see how everything is nested. Currently, we have created five different bots, and we can attach one to any entity or bot like here, for example with the text. We can immediately follow the link to our bot, where it was attached. The same thing can be done by attaching it to our timeline and diving into the information from there. Any bot can be opened in a full screen and we can work with it, go back or view it directly in the tree structure. We can create folders and entities locate objects and open and work with the folders in any possible way. Here you can see how it works. In case we don't need the full content of the board, we can make and share a part of it by making a clipping. We can create a clipping as a separate element, similar to the mechanics of the board. And there is a separate icon for it. We can cut out any content, for example a thesis, and put it in any place we like. We can copy the clipping as many times as we like and use our site interface to move it when needed. Let's go to the user storyboard and we can see our clipping. We can further dive into any other boards, for example by creating a separate board for the first user and adding our clipping there. We can move it and select it for each element. And we can also dive into this board to open and see what its contents look like. We can embed boards within one another create cross links between boards, and in general, create a large system for project management. 